Hi everyone. We are taking a little time out from the the Caribbean soccer history here in Toronto to bring you up to date with the development in the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying for Qatar 2022. The Toronto is reaching the halfway point on Friday, November 12th. And uh, it's a uh, golden opportunity for the top teams to create some separation from the rest of the pack. I consider Canada to the, be the best playing team so far in the third round, going into the midway point. However, there's still a lot to be done to secure one of the three automatic spots to Qatar. Um, the game Friday at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton it's a big test for Coach Hoodman and the team. If I was to think about concerns at this point, I would say that um, Coach Hoodman has to be very careful in his selection process. The team is playing well. It's the best playing team right now. Again, from my viewpoint and I'm sure the other seven coaches in the tournament would attest to that. So it's just for the John Newman now to think his strategy, let a little of the discipline slip. He has the players that got him there. So maybe a little tweak here and there is all the team needs. So again, I'm keeping my eye on that selection process. To me, it's the only area if I had to say I had a concern, would be there. But Coach Hoodman is doing a fantastic job, and I hope he's not under any type of pressure to do anything differently. As it stands now, Mexico is in first, USA second, one point ahead of Canada, which is on 10 points. So this was my question to him very early in terms of him being comfortable and getting the team the way he wants it because it's important for a coach to be comfortable and get his signature on the team he wants to. John, uh, you think your signature is on the team at this point? I think it's always going to be time. I think the, the most important thing is the, the infrastructure we created. So, you know, we were able to build um, and deliver sort of new systems and processes that the, the players embraced. You know, they came out of the, the camp light, bright and clear. And you heard that in the, the many interviews that they, there's clarity. This clarity and, and that clarity has come from you know 15 years of international experience I'm not a club coach that's jumped from club coaching in international I, I've worked hard with my staff who all came into mercy with me you know they, the, the guys and girls that had worked on the women's side you know have been part of that, that process so you know the signature in terms of the style of the team that'll take time but in terms of the, the foundation of infrastructure that allows players to, to connect, to, to, to be feel a culture forming, and to start to feel a tactical identity. Those were in place, and you know the players. I guess their feedback spoke for itself. Canada will be playing Costa Rica, and uh, Costa Rica, over the years, was always ranked in the top three in Concacaf, and um, with the type of play. Canada is uh, creating. Um, this is again the opportunity where has that uh, opportunity to even create more separation by beating or defeating Costa Rica. We expect it to qualify, and I think that's you know I'm I'm prepared to wear that. I'm prepared to say, look, you know it. We've got to get ourselves ahead of Costa Rica. But that four-year project of Costa Rica and to get ourselves away from Panama and Honduras widen that gap, that's realistic. You only have to look at the quality of players and where the play and the pipeline we're producing to suggest that if we get the things that what I've learned 
the maybe trip this up, which is the mindset, the culture of the team, the sports science that's surrounding them when they go into these competitive, tough environments with heat and we get those things right, then there's no excuses. And, and that has been a, a big mantra through this team. Uh, the past, the past, there's just no excuses now. We're either doing this or we're not. There's no life in between. We're either going to do it or we don't. We don't try either. And I think we've got the quality of player to do it.